Yet another piece of evidence comes from the reign of Nabonidus, the last king of Babylon. As we've discussed, over 10,000 economic tablets identify the kings of Babylon, as well as the links of each king's reign. No reign is better attested to by the economic tablets than Nabonidus. We can confirm that Nabonidus reigned for 17 years, up until 539 BC, when Babylon fell. In the ninth year of Nabonidus, his mother Adagapi died, and he commissioned steels that acted as a type of obituary. Four steels have been found bearing this tribute to the mother of Nabonidus. As this steel is hundreds of lines, we will only read pertinent extracts, but you can find a link to translations of this in the About section to this video. From the second column of this deal we read, From the time of Aser Bani Paul, king of Assyria, until the ninth year of Nabonidus, king of Babylon, the son, offspring of my womb, a hundred and four years of happiness, with the reverence which Sin, king of gods, placed in me, he made me flourish my own self. By this, we can confirm that Adagapi died in the ninth year of Nabonidus. Since we know that Nabonidus ruled for 17 years until 539 BC, we can discern that Adagapi died in 547 BC. In column 1, we read the following succession of kings. From the 20th year of Aser Bani Pol, king of Assyria, that I was born in, until the 42nd year of Aser Bani Pol, the third year of Aser Etilu Ili, his son, the 21st year of Nabopolazar, the 43rd year of Nebuchadnezzar, the second year of Evo Marduk, the fourth year of Neroglisser, and 95 years of the god Sin, king of the gods of heaven and earth. Here we find that Adagapi was born in the 20th year of the Assyrian king Aserbanipal. And from here, the steel describes a 95-year period up until the reign of her son, Nabonidus. Aserbani Pol ruled for 42 years. And since Adagapi was born in his 20th year, the remainder of his rule would be 22 years. The next Assyrian king ruled for three years. Then we come to the familiar list of Neo-Babylonian kings. Nabopolazar, who ruled for 21 years, Nebuchadnezzar, who ruled for 43, Evil Marduk, who ruled for 2, and finally, Nergal Shalrezer, who ruled for 4 years. From the Adagapi steel, we see the Neo-Babylonian chronology laid out before us. There are no extra kings, nor are the links of any of their reigns any longer than we've confirmed from other sources, such as the astronomical diaries the thousands of cuneiform business tablets, and the Agibi banking records. The Adagapi steel, as well as the Agibi banking records, should also dispel any thought that there are gaps between the reigns of any of these kings. All evidence stacks up to one conclusion, that the conventional Neo-Babylonian chronology is rock solid, and that the 18th year of Nebuchadnezzar, the year Jerusalem was destroyed, was 587 BC.